Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we're going to be reading Katie and the Big Snow by Virginia Lee Burton. You may know this author and illustrator from the Mike Mulligan story and these stories were a big deal when I was a kid because my little brother's name is Michael and my name is Katie. So let's see what happens in Katie and the Big Snow. Can you see what Katie is on the front? Right now, Katie is a snowplow. Katie was a beautiful red crawler tractor. She was very big and very strong, and she could do a lot of things. It shows some of the things around here too. She had 55 horsepower. She had a diesel engine, five speeds forward, two speeds backwards. She could turn around in the same place. Oh, she had city shoes and country shoes. Let's see what else. Katie had a bulldozer to push dirt around with. Katie also had a snow plow to plow the snow with. Katie belonged to the highway department of the city of Geopolis. The highway department repaired the roads in the summer and kept them clear of snow in the winter so that traffic could run in and out and around the city. And if you look around, the illustrator has put all kinds of different trucks around the outside of the picture. So you can see all the different trucks that work for the city. Let's see, we have a steam road roller and a truck gas shovel. We have a whole bunch of trucks up here. We have a sidewalk roller. We have a cement mixer. And here is the city, filled with the city hall and the police department and the grammar school and the library and the high school and the church and uptown and downtown and much, much more. All summer, Katie worked on the roads with her bulldozer. Katie liked to work. The harder and tougher the job, the better she liked it. Once, when the steamroller fell in the pond, Katie pulled it out. The highway department was very proud of her. They used to say, nothing can stop her. When winter came, they put snow plows on the big trucks and changed Katie's bulldozer into a snow plow. But Katie was so big and strong, she had to stay home because there was not enough snow for her to plow. Do you see the other trucks out on the road? Here they are with their smaller snow plows, but she is too big to go today. Then, early one morning, it started to drizzle. The drizzle turned into rain. The rain turned into snow. By noon, it was four inches deep. The highway department sent out the truck plows. By afternoon, the snow was 10 inches deep and still coming down. Looks like a big snow, they said at the highway department, and they sent Katie out. There she goes. A strong wind came out and drifts. You can actually hear the strong wind right now. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. There's a strong wind outside and the drifts began to form. One foot, two feet, three feet, five feet. The snow reached the first story windows. Then the second story windows. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of snow. And then it stopped. One by one, the truck snow plows broke down. The roads were blocked. No traffic could move. The schools, the stores, the factories were closed. The railroad station and the airport were snowed in. The mail couldn't go through. The police couldn't protect the city. The telephone and power lines were down. There was a break in the water main. The doctor couldn't get his patient to the hospital. The fire department was helpless. Everybody and everything was stopped. Everything but... Katie. Chug, chug, chug. Here she comes, chug, chug, chug. The city of Geopolis was covered with a thick blanket 
of snow. Slowly and steadily, Katie started to plow out the city. Chug, chug, chug. Help, said the police chief. Help us get out to protect the city. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. Chug, chug, chug. So Katie plowed out the center of the city. Help, said the postmaster. Help us get the mail through. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. Chug, chug, chug. Here she goes. So Katie plowed down to the railway station. Here it is. Plowed down to the railway station. Help, help, called the telephone company and the electric company. Here they are. The poles are down in East Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie. Chug, chug, chug. And here we go. We have a little compass right here. It shows north, east, south, and west. So here we go. She's gone ahead and plowed east in town. So Katie plowed the roads of East Geopolis. Help, called the superintendent of the water department. There's a break in the main somewhere in North Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie. Chug, chug, chug. Let's see, we already went east. Now we're gonna go north. Let's look at our compass again. Here we have east, south, west, and north. So we're gonna go this way that time. Are you ready? Here she goes, going north. And she plowed out the roads to North Geopolis. Help, emergency, called the doctor. Help me get this patient to the hospital. Out in West Geopolis. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. Chug, chug, chug. Let's see. So now we're going west. We just went north. Look at our compass. North, east, south, and west. So we're going to go this way that time. Plowing west. Plow, 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 plow. So Katie plowed the roads to the hospital. Help, help, help called the fire chief. There's a three al alarm fire all the way out in South Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie. Chug, chug, chug. Okay, now we're headed south. Let's look at our compass again. Here we go. West, north, east, and south. So this time we're going this way. Here she goes, plowing south oh, to the fire. So Katie plowed out the roads to the fire in South Geopolis. Phew. On the way back, a plane signaled for help. The airport was snowed in. Katie was beginning to feel a little tired, but she wouldn't stop. Not Katie. Chug, chug, chug. She hurried over to the airport and plowed out the runways so that the airplane could land safely. Then, after she'd found the broken down truck plows, she started home. The fire department had put out the fire. The doctor had saved his patient. The water department had repaired the roads. The telephone and electric electricity were on. The mail could go through and the police could protect the city. Thanks to what Katie did. Look at all the crews she's dug out. They're all going back. Wow. Look at all that that's been plowed out. Katie finished up the side streets so traffic could move in and out and around the city. Then she went home to rest. Then, and only then, did Katie stop. Choke, choke, choke. And look, her crew is welcoming her home. Welcome home, Katie. The end. Great listening, everyone. 
I highly recommend checking out this book again and also checking out other books by Virginia Lee Burton. She is just wonderful and she has great illustrations. And also, I think this deserves a little thank you to, for all of our snowplowers out there that help us get out of all the tough situations in the wintertime. Some of them even had to work over Christmas this year. So a big thank you to all of you out there and I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.